Salutations, respected viewers. This is George from Ireland. Here I am in the debating chamber of the Oxford Union Society. Behind me, you can see the president's chair, the one up high. And on either side of him sits the treasurer and the librarian. Treasures on the president's right. So they're elected, they each serve for one term. Anyway, you'll see various busts of famous people who were uh, president of the, of the Oxford Union or other officers. Edward Heath, prime minister. There's um, next chap next to him with the glasses, Roy Jenkins, Chancellor of the University. I saw him speak in this very room two years before he died. Um, and he was uh, Chancellor Exchequer, Home Secretary, Labour man. There's Gladstone, who was Prime Minister four times. They're not present, the Society Treasurer. And a few on Asquith beside him, the other white bust. Further on, the chap with a, with a beard. And that's the Marcus of Salisbury. Okay. Oh, yeah, there's Bandaranaiki behind Prime Minister of Sri Lanka. Uh, and more and more and this little plaque to those uh, officers of the Union Society who were killed in the First World War. A wreath is laid beneath it every uh, November around Remembrance Day. So you can see up high a balcony, so they could fit well over a thousand people. In my day, you weren't allowed to speak from the balcony, but these days they do allow people sometimes to join in the floor debate. So um, the, the secretary sits this small chair here in the middle, and he or she is obviously keeping time and dinging the bell like to say somebody's time is up, and they've got the two dispatch boxes to make it a bit like the House of Commons. And the proposition always sits on the president's right, the front row, and the opposition always sits on the president's left, on the front row. And they're audience members, hundreds of people, um, who will be watching these society debates. Uh, and there's a piano, which they occasionally bring in. So here's um, Lord Heseltine, um, and uh, yes, they, oh yeah, they got the dates wrong, I'm always pointing that out when he was Prime Minister. Oh no, they have corrected it. My goodness, thanks to my persistence, they have corrected the dates. Um, and Macmillan, I've mentioned before, who was elected president, didn't serve, later Prime Minister, and chance the university. And here's the Lord Curzon, Viceroy of India, Foreign Secretary, fancied himself as Prime Minister, didn't happen. He was president. And a few others, F. E. Smith, the famous jurist and politician, Lord Birkenhead, and Sir John Simon. Okay. Um, so he was a treasurer of here, he was governor of Palestine. Um, so that's that. And then a plaque to this Japanese bank which bailed the Union out financially when it was doing badly in the 80s. Macmillan said this was the last bastion of free speech in the world. So you can see it's rather large, they can fit more chairs in, underfloor heating, that's what that's all about. So this is uh, as much a home of debating as anywhere else. Now I'm not, I'm not saying debating was invented here, but um, it's perhaps the most illustrious debating society in the world. Watch their YouTube channel. There's Benazir Bhutto, president of the society, and Prime Minister of Pakistan, who was assassinated in 2007. Her son was here as well. He's leader of the Pakistan People's Party. Doesn't look like he's coming close to being prime minister. Anyway, look at the door. You vote by the way you leave. There's a bar in the middle, and you go through I to vote yes to the motion, or no's to vote no to the motion. If you want to abstain, just tell one of the tellers, the tellers person counting the number of people who vote. So that is the Oxford Union Society, and there is the roof. It's used for parties, party speaker meetings, all sorts, debating courses, hired out. Anyway, I wish I could stay here all day, but I must return the keys. Um, so uh, it is a fabulous place. I had hours of glee here and um, seen some real world-class debaters. Who's addressed in this chamber? Well, Dr. Shashi Tharoor, for instance, Ronald Reagan, I can't think. Nixon came here after he was retired as president, resigned as president, saying, I screwed up and I paid the price. O.J. Simpson, Michael Jackson, you name it, Her Majesty the Queen, um, foreign presidents, prime ministers, and so on, have all addressed the Oxford Union Society in the debating chamber. So that's it. I have to say goodbye to one of my favorite rooms in the world.